Welcome inside the Hall of Fame. I'm Booker T, six-time world champ, two-time Hall of Famer. Got my man Brad Gilmore here with me. Uh, and we ready to roll on down, man, roll on down. I'm 45 here in the H, man, and get a little work done. Brad, Brad, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? All right. You look, yeah. a, little, you look a little suspect there. Uh, I know. But, but how, how you feel, man? How you feel? Yo, I'm doing good, Book. I'm doing good. I'm ready for this fight tomorrow night. That's what I'm looking forward to. Tomorrow night in the city of Houston, Toyota Center. It's going to be going down. Jamal Charlo in the building, H-Town hero. On, mm -hmm. by the way, the newest national holiday in the United States, Juneteenth, right? Yes, so Juneteenth yes, going indeed. down tomorrow. So um, pretty cool. I don't think a lot of people know the history of Juneteenth. And I'm not trying to get into a history lesson, but it was, you know, Galveston, Texas is like pretty significant to the whole okay. thing. And I don't it know is. if people know that. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, we, we don't want to get into a history lesson right now, man. We we got the big fight coming up tomorrow night. Like you said, Jamal Charlo uh, will be stepping inside uh, of the ring against um, Juan Macias Batiel uh, live on Showtime as well, guys. So if you're not there in the building here at Toyota Center, uh, which everybody won't be able to make it, uh, but myself and Bradley, we will be in the house. Uh, check it out on Showtime uh, tomorrow night, guys. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. Uh, as Booker T would say, but uh, man, uh, before we uh, even get any further, we got a, a special guest that's going to be stepping up uh, inside the Hall of Fame today, uh, formerly known as Alex Riley. Now, um, he goes by the name of Kevin Robert Kiley Jr. That's too many damn names. It's uh, good, though. Person, it sounds person, good, though. He, may, he might need to cut some of that down, <laughs> uh, but but uh, Alex Riley, uh, this, this, this edition of, of the Hall of Fame, I guess we're going to label it as where are they now? All right. Where are they now? What are they doing? Um, Alex Riley going to step inside the Hall of Fame and tell us exactly uh, what's been going on inside the uh, life of Mr. Uh, Kevin Robert Kiley Jr. It's too much. Too, just way too much. Uh, cut that down. But uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think about, uh, you know, formerly known a Rod? What do you think? Well, I'm excited to hear, you know, kind of what he's been doing. You know, I saw him. um a few years back, I think he did Glow. Um, the first season of Glow, I saw him in that. And then um, uh, I think he's been under the radar. He's kind of been social media silent for a little while. Uh, this is a guy who, right before his exit, I think he was trying to make a comeback as an in-ring superstar, mm -hmm. but spent a lot of time with you on the broadcast desk. And I yeah. was actually, I thought he was rather good at it. I liked yeah. Alex yeah. Riley yeah. On, on the on the table doing the pre-shows and some commentary. So I'll, I'll be excited to hear what he's got going on and, you know, what his thoughts are about the business today and things of that nature. Well, honestly, uh, I've talked to Alex um, once before uh, we set this up as far as um, Alex stepping inside the Hall of Fame. So I know uh, relatively nothing as far as what he's been doing over the past, you know, a couple of years. I, I, I thought, you know, you know, for some reason we would have, you know, saw him out on the independent scene, but pandemic hit and that kind of like shut that down if that was a route that he was going to be taking. But, uh, he, he, he's, he's still around. He's still he's still he's still live and kicking. So uh, obviously, uh, he, he's got something he wants to talk about. You know, and, and I always say, man, uh, somebody like Alex Riley, uh, like the movie. I mean, uh, what with three hundred, the Beowulf. Uh, this man has a story to tell. Give him uh, a gold piece. Give him a gold piece and send him home. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those deals. We got to talk to this man. But uh, before we, um, Alex Riley come on, what do you think? Samoa Joe, he's back. He's back, baby, man. Um, You know what? Samoa Joe was one of those things to where when he got cut, was it like the day after WrestleMania or the week after WrestleMania? Yeah. Whatever it was, everyone was like, what the hell is going on? Samoa Joe was awesome. And he was too big of a talent for me. He He's not somebody you want to see go sh cross street. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's like somebody you want to keep in house at all costs. And I think that even the internet reaction, uh, you know, I think Renee said, How do you let go of Samoa Joe? Right. So I'm glad that obviously he was always going to come back. And he's back in NXT, which to me, when he was in the WWE during that initial run, at least as an in ring performer, his best stuff was in NXT. 
Yeah. Other than the match that he had with Brock at the Great Balls of Fire, he never really got to have a chance to have a big WrestleMania moment. I know he worked Rey Mysterio, and I think they went like 90 seconds. He was hurt the WrestleMania before that. This WrestleMania, he was on the commentary desk. So I think some of his best work in WWE was in NXT anyway. So to be back there and in an authoritative role that he could foreseeably get into a confrontation that would lead to a match, I think it's a good, I think it's a good spot for him. No, I mean, I think it's definitely, I think sometimes, you know, like just like when Finn Balor uh, came up to the main roster, he kind of got lost in the shuffle. Um, Finn Balor's a, a hell of a talent, um, but he definitely was kind of like a guy that you, you know, oh, he's there, but he's not really doing a whole lot because there's so many, you know, uh, you know, parts of that machine that everybody's trying to get a piece of. Uh, to take a step back and then go back to NXT, he seemed like he's, feeling a whole lot better. He's looking a whole lot better. He's getting a whole lot more TV time. Um, Samoa Joe, definitely, I think that's a spot for Joe uh, to be able to thrive in, uh, in an authoritative uh, perspective or in ring. I think Joe would do much better uh, as a, as a talent in, in NXT. That's just my opinion. Um, I, I, me personally, I don't know if I would want to be on the main roster. I, I can say this. I, I can, I can honestly say this. When it came down to being on Raw SmackDown, I prefer I preferred being on SmackDown. Why is that? Just because it was more laid back. Um, it wasn't as uh, toxic turvy as far as guys chomping at the bit, you know, wanting to get you know that piece of the action being on top. Um, it, it's like a you know crabs in a bucket. Everybody you know grabbing and trying to get to that next you know get get one up. And, and it's live television. So you got to go out there, and, you know, you got to be on, you know, 100%. So being able to take a step back, um, you know, do a tape television show like SmackDown, for me, it gave me a little bit more comfortability. And, uh, and for, you know, the work at NXT, I think that it has perhaps that same feeling to where, you know, you're still working uh, on the mainstream. You're still working at the highest you can poss possibly be, but it's not as stressful. Um, as it, as it could be working in, you know, at, you know that live Monday night scene. It's just definitely a totally different feel. Yeah, NXT seems like it gives you a little bit more time to breathe and to actually work, right? That too, that too, yeah. yeah. To actually go out there and do the craft. Yeah. Like, let's go out there and perform. Well, I understand Raw, especially when it's two hours. Now it's been three for, I don't know, a decade or however long now it feels like. But even in a two-hour format, man, you got – you know, 12 minutes at the most, right? <laughs> like, I yeah. don't think most most matches didn't go longer than that. So I think that I understand what you're saying in the regard of it's giving you kind of a little bit of a, a net to work with, safety net. The So the stress level's down. You can actually enjoy what you're doing. So I, it does seem like what a lot of guys down there at NXT like to do. Look, Adam Cole's been down in NXT since he's been in WWE. <laughs> and, and I haven't heard Adam Cole not once say, I don't want you know, want them to call me up to the main roster. You know, and he's, no, he's mean, really enjoyed his I, I, role. I, I remember when I, you know, Adam Cole, I've told this story uh, when he was just on, when he was still on the independent circuit, you know, and he was like, man, you know, I said, have they called you yet, man? He goes, man, I'm just waiting, waiting, I'm just waiting on the call. Man. I said, so they're going to call, man, trust me, they're going to call it. Then I saw him at, at one of the pay-per-views in the back and he had a smile on his face, you know, so big, he looked like the Joker. And, uh, <laughs> and, I, and I was like, did I tell you, man? Uh, Adam Cole seemed like he's a guy that just happened to be there, man. He, he you know, working on that independent scene uh, for so many years, uh, finally get a chance to to make uh, some money and and put a little bit of it away. Um, at the same time, to 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 finally make it to a company where you can actually slow down, you know, uh, you know, such as a Finn Balor, who was a guy that was flying all over the place, and you know, I'm sure his body was, you know talking to him on a regular basis when he was doing that stuff, even though, you know, uh, you're young and it's fun, it, it still hurts. Um, so, so definitely uh, coming up, uh, Adam Cole, I'm sure he's happy exactly where he's at right now. And if he does get the, the phone call, I, I feel like he's one of those guys that's going to be uh, prepared and uh, he's going to be ready to make that switch. Yeah. But big ups to Samoa Joe. You know, I'm glad that he, I'm glad that he landed, you know, back on his feet. And he's working there with with Regal and you know putting him in there with Karrion Cross, which um nobody brings intensity to to me like uh, or he's very few one of very few guys who brings intensity like a Samoa Joe. When Samoa Joe's talking, you believe every word that he says, so it's a good role for him. I'm excited. I'm excited that he's back. I really am. Definitely, definitely. Well, um, we're still um, waiting on uh, Kevin Robert Kylie Jr. 
um, to step inside the Hall of Fame. I guess he should be stepping in and just a memento. But until then, I guess we can take a quick, quick break. Stick around, guys. We'll be back inside the Hall of Fame in just a minute. This is Booker T World Gym Arena in Texas City, the home to the Reality of Wrestling Training Center. It's a 20,000 square foot facility with more than 50 full-time students and wrestlers from around the world. Inside the World Gym Arena sits a 9,000 square foot venue set up for weekly shows. From on top, one, two, one, where our students showcase their skills in front of a live audience. What he's done here is it's awesome. He's created opportunity and he's creating great talent, as you guys well know. In the back of full weight room. Six, up. Complete with state-of-the-art equipment and personal trainers. There you go, there you go. Two more, two more, two more, two more. A full staff and office personnel. One more, one more. Running the day-to-day -day operation. We have interview sets for TV production, promo classes, quarterly combine. We evaluate progression and team building. Referees, commentators, ring announcers, and live television production. At the World Gym Arena, we don't just teach you how to become a professional wrestler, but an elite sports entertainer. This is Reality of Wrestling. Shoop! Welcome back inside the Hall of Fame, guys. Man, we haven't we, we haven't been seeing ship enough lately. I know what's going on. Why are your know, ship I, counts down? My ship my ship count is down. I, I guess <laughs> I get to, I got to get the t shirt to remind me. Sometimes I forget these days. Um, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting older. Hey, man! But I told you guys uh, with a, a very special guest uh, stepping inside the Hall of Fame, guys. Uh, where are they now? Uh, formerly known as Alex Raleigh. Now goes by the name of Kevin Robert Colley Jr. Well, you, th there he is. There he is. What's going on, yes. man? How you doing? Can you hear me? Oh yeah. How you feel, bro? Booker T, I can't hear you. You can't. You can't hear me. Yeah, I can't hear uh -oh. you at all. Hello. There Hello. you go. Mate. All right. There, there, there you go. You Much hit better. the button. You hit the button. Now I can't hear you either. I can you, you hear can't. you, I, sir. I can hear you. You can hear me, bit. but you can't hear book. Brad, yes, sir. No, I hear I you perfectly, hear book. book. Brad, I don't, I don't know why he can't hear me. I mean, you can hear me, Brad. I, I can book, hear you. Though. Wait a minute, you can hear. Wait a minute, <laughs> yeah, you can I hear. Sir, I can hear you. Yeah, I cannot. Brad, uh, okay. I can't hear Booker hold yet. Hold on a second here. Well, Booker, I That's hear okay. you clearly. So clearly. Hold so hold on. Let's take him out for one second, there, book. You should be able to hear fine. Okay, book, you ready? Brad, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna. Okay. I don't, I, Okay, can you hear me now? Booker, can you I hear me? I can hear you. Brad, can you hear me? I can. It's got to be hit on his ear, right? Okay, Booker, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I can, can hear you, but yeah, now, now, now your mouth is stopped. Yeah, I, can see, I, can, <laughs> I can see what we're doing. I can't hear you, though. Yeah. Kevin, why don't you exit out and come back in? Yeah, do okay. that. Yeah. One sec. How, okay. okay. How do you do? Okay. Well, well we gotta have, have a little technical difference. You guys, you, you guys know how this is. Yeah. I mean, it gets a little rough sometimes in the Zoom era, trying to get everybody on the same page. Yeah. I mean, Brad, you can hear me. You can hear me fine, right, Brad? I heard you fine the whole time. I think you know. I think it's the internet in this house. He's probably you know somewhere out in the boonies. Probably got that uh, uh huge net Gen Five. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I don't know why he could hear me and not you. That was yeah, that, that, that's odd. That's Nevertheless, he's coming back now. So let's, let's, see. let's see. Let's see if we can get this down. Let's see. Uh, he's back in. So I'm gonna add him in, book, and you start yeah. talking. Let's see. Okay, can you hear me this time? Can you hear All me? All right, Booker, I can hear you, sir. One more time. One more time. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, great. Uh, we, we, we on track now, man. Uh, all right, well, let's get this thing going, man. Uh, like I say, stepping inside the Hall of Fame, Kevin Robert Colley Jr. That's, that's a whole lot, man. That's a whole lot. You, you got to cut the. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you know. I, I appreciate you adding the Robert. Kevin Kyler Jr. at this point is uh, is fine. And I really appreciate you having me on. And uh, we've been friends for a while. And, uh, you know, I just uh, – it's good to see your face again. Hey, man, I'm still doing my thing, man. I'm yeah. still like you, man. I'm still in the gym. Still, yeah. I'm still I'm still training. You know, yeah. I mean, you see you see the, see the vein right there going through the bicep. One of, one of my proudest moments in WWE was the production of the pre-show pose down. Oh, it's down. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought we did it. Uh, yeah. You, my friend Byron, Byron Sachs, I thought if, 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 if I recall, I won that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did, yeah. <laughs> Throw another ring on his finger. Why not, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, you've been out of the game for a while, man. Uh, you've been laying low. Um, I know you was out in Hollywood uh, for a while, um, you know, doing a little work. Um Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Um, yeah, what, yeah, what, so, what, what's uh, what's life, life like? I'm I'm uh, I consider myself very blessed. I'm actually uh, I'm engaged. Um, engaged. For the, yeah, for the first time in my life, I'm very happy about it. To a woman I've known for 20 years, she's the most beautiful girl uh, on earth, and uh, she's uh, we're gonna get married here in a couple months, and uh, we have a son named Ro. Uh, so it's uh, wow. Yeah, it's 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 an amazing step in my life, and uh, we've kind of always been together. We've always been friends, and uh, I say we're planning on about six months from now. We're gonna we're gonna hit Hawaii, and and uh, you know I'm gonna be married, and and I just wow. uh, I really consider it a huge blessing, and and I love her so much. We went to Boston College together actually uh, 20 years ago, so um, you know she's got a great family, and uh, you know and and we're just gonna come together, and and we're gonna start to do some things, but um, uh, when to uh when it was uh pretty good and then um COVID, i was trying to get back into uh sports entertainment COVID hit and i uh, it really slowed down what was going to be my path and now i'm kind of on a little bit of an alternate path but um i feel good about what i'm doing and uh you know my fiance and i are working together and uh we're we're coming up with a with a good business plan and we got partners and and we really believe in the uh, the healing properties of CBD, so we're we're going to stay on that. And then I'm um, going to try to get back into entertainment. The both of us, she was an actress as well, uh, so we're going to try to get back into uh, the entertainment business in some facet. And then I just see, you know, see where life takes us. But but it's be been, be uh, yeah, yeah. Before before we get to the CBD, before we get into sure, the, yeah. uh, before we get to uh, exactly what's going on now, you know, I, we got a lot of people in the chat. Uh, I'm sure yeah. a lot of people are, a lot of people wondering. You know, yeah. what, you know, what happened with Alex Riley in the WWE? Because me personally, I always was wondering, you know, what sure. happened with Alex Riley in the WWE? Why did, why do you think that that path didn't work out for you? So I'm just going to leave it here for now because I- I mean, no, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't yeah. want you to say no names or anything. I ain't, yeah. no, I ain't, act, I ain't asking for okay. names or anything. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, no, I'm, no, no, I don't want names. I'm just trying to okay. figure out what what do you think on your behalf, on your part, sure. perhaps sure. that that uh, perhaps was the reason why things didn't you know work out. You didn't catapult you know to that next level of professional. Because I know you tried. I know working with you at the commentary booth, you actually sure. said, "Man, I don't want to do this. I want to be in the ring." I know how passionate you was about sure. wanting to actually do that. So talk to me about because I know a lot of people want to know. Okay, um, I have said that I would come back for one night with one conversation with one unnamed person. Uh, I believe we all know who it is. And uh, and then I'm going to also say that there was a situation where he stood on his belief system of what he believed it took to be a main event wrestler in the WWE. And I stood on mine. And that's that's as far as I'm going to take it. Uh, he's not here to defend himself. I would never do that to another man in that business. Um, I've spoken my piece on Instagram the best I could. Um, but I deserve, I believe that certain somebody deserves the right to defend himself for what he believed it took to make it in that business, in sports entertainment, a business that I love, that I gave my life to equally. 
and we both had different belief systems. That's that's the best way I can articulate it. Uh, you know, I would be a fool to say that um, people don't understand who I'm speaking of at this point, but I want to leave it at that. I'm yeah. Vince, I'm Vince McMahon loyal. I know he was a fan of mine. I know he believed I was massively talented. I have heard that from people. I believe I'm massively talented. I believe I'm still massively talented. And I, I gave, and I was bringing a lot to that business. Now, uh, this person and I, I will say this, we just really didn't like each other. And I yeah, mean, I just really didn't. didn't like each other. And yeah, I don't think that's yeah. even a secret anymore. You know, mm -hmm. I tried to do the best I could to play and I don't want to even say play, right? Every business is political. I understand that. And I, and I do understand that it was a gift to be a part of that company. Uh, Vince McMahon allowed me the space to grow, to use my voice, to create a character, to become larger than life. And I tell people this, I, I am only here because I was given an opportunity by the management of WWE. They had enough confidence in me to put me on live worldwide television. That is a massive compliment with a microphone in my hand, not only to speak to the United States of America, but to speak to the world, okay? As a, as a living, larger than life character. There reached a point where myself and another person there just didn't like each other. And I mean, we really didn't like each other. I did the best I could with it. Uh, and I welcome the opportunity. I believe, I believe, you know, I know there's a lot going on in professional wrestling now. There is. There's AEW. There's reality of wrestling. Congratulations, mm -hmm. by the way. I heard it's doing fantastically. And uh, it's going to continue to do fantastically. Uh, and there's WWE. I have said that I am WWE loyal. I am WWE loyal. I appreciate what Vince did. I love him for it. I believe he's always loved me equally. I believe he's always recognized my talent. I believe he was always a big believer in me. But there was something there that I will wait to speak about on WWE programming. I, I just really believe that's fair to the world and it's very fair to all parties involved. If if that's if that's where I can leave it, I would love no, to just yeah. leave it. Yeah. I mean, I uh, yeah, I, I mean if yeah. you want to continue if you want to continue no, no. to talk about it, I no, will. No, 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 I, I guess, no, be, no, okay. no, no, that's yeah. not what I, that's not, you know, this this, this ain't an I got you like type thing. I just yeah. wondering. Okay. I just because yeah, no. you 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 left and and this is the first conversation and you can you and can and you can attest. I don't want to I'm gonna say this. I'm okay, yeah. I'm not like no. I'm I'm not I'm I'm standing here, you know. To be the truth, I I want to speak the truth. I want to remain uh, loyal to who I am as a human being, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying anything that other people didn't realize. No, like, no, I, no. Those two just don't like each other, and maybe well, even you know it just it just you know they're uh, no, no. When you no when you, know, when, you when you when you left when you left the company, yeah, you you like boom it was abrupt. Um, as well as. This is the first conversation you and I have had since Correct. you left the company. So yes, sir. I didn't, I didn't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I, I miss your mom more than I miss you. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, by the way, <laughs> by the way, she says hello. I was texting her this morning, and she said, "God bless you, Booker." No, I'm uh, serious. She said, no, she said, uh, "She said, will you make sure that you tell Booker I said hello and we love him?" So yeah, absolutely. No, absolutely. no. If, if if you if just right first this um. Uh, you had an opportunity to come back and do the commentary, which yeah, yeah. What's that? Yeah, no. Which, I said, would, would, would I, you come back? Uh, would you come back and do commentary? I would not, with respect. Yeah. I, I would not yeah. come back to do commentary. Uh, I will come back, and and I know that it's you know I'm not trying to rush back. I'm trying to respect all parties involved, and I would like also to speak about uh the unionization of sports entertainment that's what we're going to talk about let's talk okay. about that let's, let's talk okay. about that uh, we're going to take a quick break uh, okay, uh step st stick around you inside the hall of fame we'll be back in one minute <laughs> love <book. laughs>
Shoot! Welcome back inside the Hall of Fame, guys. That's just one of my little sayings right now. Working on the T-shirt. Uh, it's going to be coming real soon. We'll make sure we get one for you in the mail. So don't... <laughs> wait a minute. I can't hear... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can hear me. Now I can't hear you. Bradley, what's going on here? Bradley, uh, help me out here. What's no, you, going you on should, here? You should be able to hear. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wait a minute. I got, I got, I got you. Oh, I got you. You I got did? you. I think okay, you. Okay. I think you was muted or something right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, heck yeah, man. Uh, but no, nah, man. Uh, let's let's talk about it. I know uh, you. You really um, want to, you know, spread the word as far as you know wrestling and wrestling need to be, you know, uh, unionized. Needs to be uh, more uh, looked into as far as you know guys can take care of you know certain ends. Talk to me about that. How do you really feel about the unions? And, okay. and, and more important, and more importantly. Not just, um, uh, you know, talk about the union, but how do we get there? Correct. Right. And uh, I'm going to need help doing this. Right. I'm not here to say that I have it all figured out. OK, first mm -hmm. and foremost. However, I love the business of sports entertainment. I love the people I work with in that vein they need not to say, look, I'm going to say this. The WWE management is fantastic. They've done so much. And since I got, once I got there, since once I, I you know, I was there, uh, it's, it's a real, it's, 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 it's the NFL. You know, they, they the, the thing when I was watching it at home, they can, the WWE compares, and I'm going to speak to, about WWE because I've never been to AEW and I heard they're fantastic over there as well, but um, they compare themselves to the NFL, the NBA. These these people have unions, you know what I mean. That's just mm -hmm. that's just the that's just the facts of it, you know what I mean. That's just the facts. Yeah. The entertainment business in the United States of America is the number one export. We are the United States of America. That we are free thinking, we are be free believing, and we are free speaking. We lead the world in that system. In that, in that, when it comes to that, um, you know, when it comes to that belief system, that's why we lead the world in, in, in entertainment. You know, it's it's open thought. It's you know how they say you know no cap, whatever, whatever, whatever the slang is for it. It's a real thing, and I really believe that the art of sports entertainment is one of the uh, one of the most beautiful artistic platforms of expression that we have. I believe it is going to be if it isn't already the future of american programming it's lasted longer than anything we have aew now we have wwe we have reality of wrestling and when i was speaking to you yesterday about the monday night wars right how exciting was the monday night wars yes. i know i didn't have a cell phone in my hand during monday night wars i know that I know I wasn't tweeting during the Monday Night Wars. I know I wasn't on Instagram during the Monday Night Wars. I know my eyes were locked in and glued on to what was happening. And then you said the other day about, or yesterday when we spoke, uh, WCW. And somebody had to go. I don't want anybody to go. I want them to, I want, I want sports entertainment to be a pinnacle, uh, a pinnacle structure of programming for the United States of America forever. Why would it not be? Why does one company and I know and I know I know that's, you know, I know they were battling for business and that was part of that generation. One of them had to go. But if 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 it can be in a way where we're all working together and we're all, you know, uh, evolving through television together, I think that's the best way to utilize that business. I, oh, I just oh, do. Yeah. Oh, oh, are we talk, are we talking about um, unionizing for the sake of um, better pay? Are we talking about unionizing for insurance? Are we talking about um, unionizing for, um, you know, bargaining agreements, uh, collective bargaining agreements? What are we actually right. talking about the union actually being for? Okay, I'm talking about when it comes to, uh, well, first of all, the, the, the sports entertainers having a voice, you know, the talent having a voice. Well, can I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I say one thing on that right yeah. now? Yeah, the, sure. the, the, the voice of the uh, the professional wrestler right now is Twitter. Correct. Correct. And that's, you know, and that's, uh, that, that is, that is what it is. But I, I think, I think honestly we're dealing, you know, and I, I'm not, when I can't 
watch a program without checking my phone. That's a problem, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, when we accepted 1-0 ratings, that's a problem. Sports entertainment is a 5-0 rating. Six, I, you know, I don't know how high we can get it, but I don't know when in the business we started accepting 1-0 ratings. It's, it's been five. It's been 5.3. I mean, I don't know the exact oh, numbers, yeah. but I was oh, a yeah. part of the business for 10 years. I traveled the world. I know the influence that it has on the world, not just this country, the world, and how many people it brings together and how many countries it unites over stories that, you know, and, and all credit to, to Vince McMahon. I believe he's a genius. I really do. I believe he's a living genius. Because he has created a worldwide platform that unites people. So all I'm saying through unification is let's, and I'm not saying anybody's doing a bad job. Like, that's not what I'm here to say. This is a very positive, I'm a very positive voice and I'm a very positive message. I don't want to remain that way. Uh, I, I say this only in the... Uh, you know, only with the idea and the hope we can maximize the television, the storylines, the characters, and get the rating back up. But Why tell me, I, I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but, but tell me, how does the union help that? You know what I mean? Because I think yeah. that's got, I think that's got a lot to do with um, the writers. Um, the, the, the producers, um, the, the wrestlers, um, just say for instance, the talent today, you know, they, they're not, a lot of these, the talent today, you know, they're not, they're not like worldly talent. They, they didn't go around the world and learn how to do this. They, they, a lot of them went to the performance center and like they, you know, they're on television and they're going out and trying to portray, you know, professional wrestlers and, and to portray art that, you know, is, uh, such a thin line between right. uh, re reality and not. You know, for some young kid, is is really really hard. And I say right. that I say right. that to to talk about the wrestler that gets over um, right. and gets himself over to where he can get pushed to where he can make more money. Um, uh, and, and everybody on the card is not doing that. Um, right. So so talk to me about the um, you know how does you know so, having the having the union leverage you know you know that. So when it comes to in art, this is just what I believe from working there, okay? And, in, in, well, first of all, it would give the talent a stronger voice. That's number one, okay? So that, okay. that, that just goes without saying, you know? It, it would be, it, things would be more balanced. Okay? okay, 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 wait a minute. Wait a yeah. minute. Give, we'll give what talent more of Perfect. a voice? I'm not trying to negate the fact that the person drawing the money at the gate gets the money. That's not what I'm here to say. You know, you give the star the money. That would make no logical sense. But the people, okay, you want to just, I'm not trying to, but the people that are supporting, the people that are, that are trying to climb and replace the star, you know what I mean? Give them feet to stand on. Give them something to push off of. Give them a pay structure and give them a pay structure, give them a belief system that allows them to stand on two feet and go after the main guy. You know what I mean? It's, I it's I, right. It's, it's not a, uh, you know, new stars, right? People that can, people that can stand on two feet, have a family. You know, when you, when you, I was in, I spent 10 years in that business and I gave my life to it. I did. And anybody that says otherwise, I would happily have a conversation with them too. <laughs> uh, I gave, a, I worked, I worked my ass off there. I'm proud of the work that I put in there. I really am. Um, there needs to be a platform for the people that are not the stars to stand grounded on two feet know that their job is secure and reach as high as they can for the brass ring. Okay. I, I don't, I don't want to get too much into contracts right now and the way they're structured. It's, it's not for me to speak of right now, 
but I believe that there is space in there to unionize, to allow for a more a a more grounded, more opportunistic playing field to aim to replace the star in a fair, equal way. If you're working for AEW, if you're working for reality of wrestling, if you're working for WWE, you should go there knowing that you can be the next guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, 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 okay. I, I, I understand that. Um, but for, for you know, just say, for instance, WWE, um, yeah. you, you have Vince McMahon, you have, you know, um, uh, AEW, you have Tony Khan, you have, you know, a T and Impact, you got whoever, you got yeah, yeah, Reality yeah, yeah. of Rest. My yeah. thing is, with, for someone like me, um, I create the stars. Um, okay. I, I dictate the, the way the show is going to be presented. And, right. and if someone come to Reality of Wrestling, if they don't like it, right. I, I, you know, they get the boot. Um, and and right. I think I think for me, I think me personally, I, I think uh, the union would uh, you know cause a problem when it came to someone uh, having you know being able to dictate what happens in my company, a company okay. that I wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, a company right. that a, okay. a, a company that I spent every dime to build, just like Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon Correct. has built that company from the ground. So for him to have someone come in to tell him how they're going to do their show, it's going to be a problem as well as it's going to literally like bankrupt like the, the majority of little companies like mine, because you're going to have all of those voices working against me because they want a certain thing that I cannot give them. So okay. hold on, hold that thought. Yeah, we got to yeah, take yeah, quick, yeah. quick, we got to take, we got to take quick break. <laughs> um, just lie, just lie. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we're, we're the whole thing. I'm here <laughs> to be, work with you, bud. Yeah, I'm here to work we'll, with you. We'll, we'll be back in okay. one minute. <laughs> Side to all the fame, guys. Uh, we are with uh, Kevin Robert Golly Jr. That's, that's a lot. I know. You can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get it all in, man. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a lot, but I, but I, I gotta like it. No, man, let's uh, you know, the union thing, man. The union thing yeah. is something that. It's something that's been talked about for many, many years. Right. Um, quick question, and, and question. You know what? Qu I just, I, I think it's uh, it's 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 been talked about for a long time in sports entertainment, right? So we're not doing anything that hasn't been done, or at least spoken about. So I, you know, I appreciate you allowing this conversation because I do believe it's a good conversation. Oh, have. definitely, definitely. Uh, question, so question. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Um, you've been in the, you've been in the company. You was in the company ten years, yeah. um, and a lot, it's, it's a lot of misconceptions. Um, yeah. As far as far as just stuff that happens, um, sure. you've been you've been injured before, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Did, 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 when you when you got surgery, did, did the company take care? Or did you did you absolutely? Have to pay no, did, no, they, they pay for it. No, they were great. No, 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 no. I, no, no. I, see, I, see, that's what that's yeah, that. I'll just I'll just I'll just say because a lot of a lot of people okay. think 
Uh, a lot of people think when you get hurt in the business okay. that you, you're like on your own, you, you know, because you don't have insurance, you got to, you, you're, you're broken, you got to pay for it. I've had several surgeries. Um, I would say several, yeah. but I've had my knee scoped a couple of times, elbow surgery, whatnot, right. back work worked on, and, and and not one time have I ever had to pay one dime um, um, to have that that those procedures done. So I just want people to know that um, just because we're not unionized, if we do get hurt. Um, the right. company, from from my perspective, have taken care of me. Uh, another thing uh, with 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 the uh, with the just say for instance the, the, sure. the pay scale, the pay scale, yeah. um, and and I say this kind of stuff just because um, I, I'm talking just from experience alone. Sure. Um, yeah. When when I when I got in the wrestling business, I, uh, before I was uh, working in the wrestling business, I was working at a warehouse. Right. And the uh, the warehouse, uh, I wasn't at a union or anything like that, right. but it but it provided me insurance um, sure. uh, at that job. You know, they took the yeah. they took the money. They took the money out of my check um, yeah. every month and it yeah. went towards my insurance and whatnot. And um, sure. I had insurance. But when I when I left that job, um, I didn't have insurance anymore. Uh, when I got into wrestling right. business, um, uh, when I when I was in, when I was in and that, that was a, that was a choice. For me, leaving yeah, sure, that yeah. leave, leaving that job where I had yeah. insurance, getting into a business where obviously I could get hurt and there's no place to insure me. Uh, well, well, at least I didn't have insurance, but I had to figure out, uh, you know, how I was going to get insurance, and, and I and I did. I, I finally found a, a company that would that would insure me, and 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 from from day one. Um, even though you know my first contract with WCW, it was only seventy five thousand dollars. I still right. took out that's enough a, money. I mean, that's, a, that's, I, a, that's a good amount of money. You know what I mean? I mean, seventy. I, mean, I don't know. I, I that, but here, here's the thing: I wasn't in the attitude era, so I don't know those numbers. But no, that's not, well, that's well, not that's, bad, that, that, yeah, okay. no, but that that's well before the attitude era. Actually, oh, okay. uh, the seventy five thousand, wow, right. and, and they they took that seventy five thousand. I don't know. Me personally, I don't know what the, the pay structure is today. Yeah. For, for the wrestlers, yeah. and I, and I don't. I, yeah, and, 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 and that's why it's hard for me to say. Well, we should unionize because I say I, the reason I say that is because I know except at, at making seventy five thousand dollars, I still um, took out enough and still had enough to make it to pay my insurance, and that's why sure. I feel the 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 the, the union. Yeah. Uh, why we're trying to union? Um, it's it's all going to always be up for debate, just for reasons like what, like that. What what I think it does, right? And again, I'm here as uh, a voice, not not the not maybe not the voice, right? But certainly somebody that sides with, um, you know, the star is protected. Let's just be honest, okay? Yeah. Let's be honest about the business. All right, the star is protected. The three stars, the four stars, and you know what? They're probably going to hate me for saying it, but whatever. They're protected, okay? But the guys that are trying to be the stars, I'm speaking yeah. to them. I'm speaking to the all the people that are in, you know. And I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to speak. I'm speaking to the hundred. Hundreds of people that are there that have no idea what's going on and whether or not they're going to make it. And it's not 50 of them now, it's hundreds of them, right? And I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to balance um, the, uh, I'm trying to balance the understanding of what I believe a sports organization provides. I have been close to the NFL. I didn't play in the NFL. I don't want to get that confused. But I have been close. Uh, I have been in those locker rooms. I have been close to the NBA. Uh, there is a understanding there of uh, there's an understanding there of professionalism. Okay, I'll leave it at there. I'll leave it there. There's an understanding there of professionalism, and I believe the union helps protect that. And again, again, th we're we're not dealing with the NFL, and again, and we're not dealing with the NBA. We're dealing with a moving, evolving entertainment organism. I, I understand that. I understand it's different, and I understand that 
A lot of things are dictated by, by you know, call them real storylines because some, and well, I'll be honest with you, you know as well as I do, they are. You know, oh, yeah. some of those things out there, they're as real as it gets. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. And, uh, and, and God bless the genius at work that does that because you know what? That's what makes it, that's what makes it what it is. You know, the realer that the realer it is, the better it is. And I, you know, you'd be a fool if you're watching sports entertainment to think that what is going on out there isn't real. Because a lot of times th those are real issues handled on live television. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, you know, and I, I'm not trying to take away from that. I believe that that's what makes our product right better than really anything i've ever been involved in because it's real drama it's real issues with grown men and grown women and they're being worked out with microphones on live television and all yeah and i just in that you know, in that understanding of what it is, my, my voice is only here to help, you know, if I can protect that. I, I, you lo will. I love that business. I always love the business. You know, I love that business. And, um, you know, I, uh, I, I just, I just wanted to express myself in a way that I believe could help some of the guys that also love that business. And I, you know, and here's the other thing. If you're in it, you'll love it. If you're in it, you love it. You got to give your life to it. It's, it's very much, uh, you know, I don't want to compare. I've Definitely. never been in, I've never no. been in the mill. Yeah, go ahead. No, you, um, you say you want to help the guys. I mean, you, you, if you can't help them with the union yeah. thing, whether that, whether that happened or not, right. you can help them, you can help them with the CBD. Uh, yeah. maybe you can help maybe maybe you, maybe you can help them <laughs> maybe you can help them sleep fair, a little bit better. Fair, <laughs> fair, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> maybe so so talk to me talk to me about that. I know you you're yeah. dabbling into the uh the world yeah. of uh, uh pain management. Yeah, uh, that's that's what I call it. Um uh, talk yeah. to me about the C B D work. Thank you. So um some partners <laughs> that Thank you. Uh, some partners of uh, mine and myself, including my fiance, are getting together. Uh, I, I just want to get this out for the world because I believe I must. Uh, what I have branded, copyrighted, and trademarked is I Jesus. Okay, it was born from Instagram because the kids call Instagram IG, and then what they do is they get on IG and they can be extremely negative sometimes. So what I branded, copyrighted, and trademarked is something, a brand name, and I'm a big believer in God. I am, and I, you know, there, I don't believe there's anything wrong with that. Uh, I, Jesus, and what it is, I believe it to be, we all believe it to be, the future of holistic healing and cannabis research, okay? I believe that that's, a, I, I love that plant. I stay, uh, you know, I stay federally abiding right now on CBD, uh, but I believe it is, uh, you know, and I, and I feel blessed that the federal government has opened their mind to it, Definitely. okay? Because I think it's something, and, and the WWE, right? When, when I was is there, you, you, you couldn't, another thing, you, you couldn't do it, right? When I read it, CBD wasn't around. I mean, uh, and all praise and respect to WWE. It's not what I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, they're doing a fantastic job and, and, and I'm a product of WWE and I wouldn't even be sitting here talking to you if I, if I, if they didn't allow me the opportunity really and help create me. So again, all respect to Mr. McMahon and, and everybody in management and, and the McMahon family, truthfully. Um, but what I believe is, uh, I just really believe in the, in, in the, in CBD and the root of the cannabis plant. I do. I, I believe it's, I believe it's a miracle drug, uh, medicine. I believe it's a miracle medicine. And, uh, I believe, I believe in holistic healing. You know, I do. I think that's the yeah. future. Uh, you know, I, I've, I've been, uh, I've been searching for answers in, you know, inside my own body for healing. Right. And, uh, that's, that's what I was brought to. So, uh, you know, thank you for letting me express that. I, I, I'm no, excited no, about no. what we're doing, but, yeah. Uh, one, one thing I've uh, always um, um, said, um, you know, doctors, you know, and scientists, they've um, studied yeah. 
uh, for many, many years what tobacco does to the human being and the human right. body. And and I'm sure there have uh, been some form of studies on marijuana, but we've had we've got um, zero negative uh, studies uh, for right. ma marijuana uh, and cannabis. So so definitely, um, I definitely believe it is something that that something that should have been uh, yeah. available available for human beings. For, for many many years it should have been but um now we're here now we're here and you're in a position to help a lot of people um at and the same time give me um give me that one more time uh, what's the name of it one more time it is i jesus right i jesus branded copyrighted trademarked that's the message holistic healing and the research and uh you know the research in the product of cannabis cbd and it was you know and and i have and i have to say this too I have expressed a lot of things on Instagram. I have. I understand that. Okay. And they have, <laughs> <Yeah. happened? laughs> I have a I have a rule. I have a new rule with my wife, my fiance now. After five drinks, I have to give her my phone. And I uh, now, now, now it's down to three. <laughs> now, now it's down to three. So I, you know, I, I'm understanding my place in the world <laughs> a lot better. No, man, but, uh, no, just, you know, that's one thing you got, you got to learn that real, you got to learn that real quick. Uh, you got to learn that yeah. real quick. Um, being married, um, always listen yeah. to the woman. Just always that's listen right. to the woman. That's right. Yeah. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm proud of myself for doing it. We were in a time where everybody, you know, was walking around with masks on their face, you know, and, uh, it just was a, a time that I'm glad is over, right? I'm glad it's over because Definitely. I've had conversations with people that go to the office for work and they say, well, why would I ever go back to an office building? I have a family and I can work from home. And I said, well, you know what? fine, that's good. Good for you. But my office is in front of people. Yeah. You know, our, your office is in front of a live crowd. That's yeah. what I was trained. That's what I was trained to do. If you, you talk again, let's bring back the NFL. You talk to anybody in the NFL, anybody in the NBA, anybody in the Olympics, anybody in the WWE, anybody in AEW, anybody in reality wrestling, you got no crowd. I'm sorry. You got no business. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I, I, was, I always, I'm, I always, I always say it, um, you know, it, it sounds cliche. Um, I always told uh, tell my fans, um, you know, if it wasn't for no, if it wasn't for them, it would be no me. And, and I know that sounds cliche, right. um, but yeah. it, it really is true. Um, and, and I've always yeah. felt that way. Um, so I tell you, man, uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. keep a rate, make sure I get an uh, invitation uh, to the wedding. And yeah, uh, absolutely, and, uh, yeah. And I'll uh, tell you, tell hey, bro, make sure I'll I fly, get an invite. Yeah. I, 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 no, I, I fly, I fly myself out. Don't worry about that. I just need a vacation. I just need a vacation. I just need a vacation. So I'll fly myself. I just let me know and uh, make sure you tell your mother. Um, I said hello, um, and, and I know. hope to see and I hope to see her sometime soon. But we gotta we gotta get up get yeah. up out of here, man. We gotta get you out of here. Uh, but I just want to uh, thank uh, you for giving me some time. How can people get in touch with you on on Instagram and, and social media and stuff like that? They can just I'm, again. I'm I'm not I'm done with Twitter. And again, I'm I'm in a way using my phone to. Uh, okay, just Instagram. You, you just Instagram. It. Yeah, just Instagram. That's it. I, that's all I all got. Right. I Jesus all gotta right. just have Instagram, all right? right? Yeah, all right, bro. Instagram. I feel you. I feel you. That's like that's like me. That's like me with Facebook. I, I don't have Facebook because I don't want yeah. nobody from back in the day looking for hey, me. I'm I got serious. I got no Facebook no more. I got no Twitter no more. I'm just IG. That's it. IG and my, whatever I'm doing. All right. All right, bro. Well, most definitely, man. I appreciate you giving me some time and explaining, uh, you know, yeah. what you're doing and uh, how okay. things are going. And, and there again, man. Uh, much luck in the future and congratulations on becoming a husband. Thank you, sir. God bless you, Booker. Take care. All right, brother. Talk to you uh, soon. All right. Bye. Hey, guys, you're in the Hall of Fame. Stick around. We'll be back in a minute. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Booker T, six-time world champ, two-time Hall of Famer, and this is for all up-and-coming professional wrestlers, male and female. You want to know the ins and outs? 